All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, another quick video. Uh, this is the top frame. Pretty much just going to sit up here, something like that. And um, I went ahead and, oh, not focusing, there we go. The center post, I went ahead and tightened it up and uh, used some uh, Loctite. I use blue Loctite on everything like you're supposed to. I left these, the side ones loose these two loose and I went ahead and, and since this one only had one screw and there's no channel for adjustment like the uh, servo are. You can see the little grooves there where you can slide them back and forth for servo sizing. Um, went ahead and tighten this one down. This is the uh, basically the the pin for the top of the servo. I forget what it's called. It's like a support guide pin. Uh, you'll have to put that on the servo and line it up before you tighten these down. Uh, these doesn't. I don't think this. Uh, these two servos have that, but uh, uh, I'm not sure yet. But I know this one does, so that's what it recommends. I noticed one discrepancy in the manual. The here, let me get this on here. Yeah, the all the little screws that go along into the post. It says that there's M3 by six, and then the picture says M3 by 8 and let's see here it's the smaller ones because the 8's actually use on the main shaft below it let's see yeah these are 6's the little ones are the 6's and that's what you use for the the posts uh, are the little 6's uh, and then these little bit longer ones which are the 8's are what you use to attach the center hub to the main gear uh, but you can't see them because they're black. Uh, and this is simply the main shaft with a 4M, uh, 4mm bolt, and a lock nut. The lock nut is has a cutout in the actual hub, uh, so you can loosen and tighten this without having to hold this. But it's so thin right here on top, it's hard to see. Oh, oh. Back it up. There we go. Come back in. You kind of see how the metal deformed a little bit. So what I did is I, I took a, a wrench and uh, held the nut in position when I tightened it. That way it would pull it in the channel. Because if you don't, for that initial <clears throat> tightening, it'll probably just uh, tear that metal out of there. Or that aluminum out of there. You can kind of see how it, uh, it's real thin. So just something to watch out for. Uh, and you do have, looks like you do have one extra screw of each one of the shorts and the six and the eight. Uh, I'm not sure if you use it for anything else, but we'll see. Might just be extras. All right, and that's about it. Everything else will be putting this in the upper and mounting it to the mid frame, I guess you could call it. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys that um, as well. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And of course, using blue Loctite and everything. Alright, till later.